Hi everyone, it's Dawn from So Confident in Shirley. I've got um, Sam here with me today. Um, Sam came to a beginner's class Ooh. last... Oh, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Forever? Yeah, no, Thea was about four weeks old when I had my first she was, right? my class. Yeah, so, came yeah. to one of, the, uh, one of the first beginner's classes that we, that we had and um, Samantha's kindly come in to talk about the Peltex fabric which we're selling. Um, we've got rolls of it in, I've just had a roll delivered and I've already sold a full roll of people that have already asked for this fabric. Um, it's very lightweight, 30 grams, 30 grams um, yeah. per metre, um, so it's ideal for putting inside your mask. But obviously I'm not medical, I don't know anything about the properties, so I thought um, Sam's come to collect about 10 metres of um, the fabric and I thought while she's here I'll just um, ask her some questions that you might be interested in knowing why we're using this fabric and why it's recommended. So Sam, I don't know, do you want to say why? Well, the for cloth masks we have always been wanting to put in a layer of 100% polypropylene. Uh, so it's a hydrophobic, so it repels water, which is really important because you're trying to create a barrier between uh, you and anybody coughing on you and things like that. So you want a layer that repels that sort of droplets. So this has always been recommended, <clears throat> but not easy to find. Um, they were recommending using um, reusable shopping bags that were made of this material. Uh, and certainly I know a lot of people in America as well in the UK were doing that for a time. Um, I have been in discussions with other medics around the country who have been volunteering and making masks for the community as well as for uh, other medical staff that were short on PPE. And uh, the, the issue with using a reusable shopping bag was that some of them had already been treated with fungicides to obviously um, keep things fresh inside your shopping bag. Yeah. Um, I was in a position to discuss this with other makers, as I said, on, on the internet, other medics who are making masks, and one of them from the York team recommended this. This is what they've been using to make their masks over there. They've done their research. So Peltex is basically a non-woven 100% polypropylene, so it's spun bonded, this one, which is what it needed to be. This is the current WHO, so the World Health Organization guidance, is that you should have at least one layer of this stuff in a triple layered mask. Um, UK guidance is slightly different. We're sort of saying any sort of face covering would do, uh, but if you want to follow the visual guidance, anyone in the member of the public who's out and you can't socially distance, this is what you should be using in your mask. Um, not easy to find. A lot of the stuff that I found on the internet was not washable. They were for disposable masks, but this one is. So it's breathable, it's washable. Uh, I really like it because the York team have been able to sew it into the mask and put it through a wash without removing. So it's, it's not, it doesn't need to be disposed of and replaced. Uh, and it can be put through a 60 degree cycle wash and it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Shrink or we anything. actually, um, Jenny, um, who owns So Confident Limited, um, did a trial of um, about a metre of the fabric, did it on a 60 degree wash cycle and yeah it came out exactly the way it went in yeah, so brilliant. Yeah, yeah. it's great so what we would we would normally say to do it if i'm following the who guidance would be three layers so we would say uh you could use a cotton outer or you can actually use this stuff as an outer um this stuff in the middle uh and then a cotton inner to absorb your own sort of uh, moisture when you're breathing and things like that so a triple layered mask is what who would recommend um as a it's been difficult to find something that's suitable for us to use in, in reusable cloth masks, um, which is why you know, I'm really glad that I've been able to get Dawn to get it in and, and Jenny and the So Confident team to get it in just to make it available uh, to me or to smaller groups of people who want to make it. So that's great. Yeah. Great stuff. Uh, I can't think of any other questions. Yeah, so the fabric is available to buy through So Confident. You can buy from any of the studios. So you can buy through myself and Charlie, um, Jenny in Glasgow. Sandra and Dundee or Janine in Birmingham, just um, get in touch. It's on the website. You can buy by the half meter or we're also putting together some kits that will make up to three masks with um, a choice of fabrics for you. And um, yeah, a pattern as well to show you um, how, to, how to make the mask. 
Um, so yeah, thank you, Sam, that's for coming right. in. No and um, hopefully that's helped you all understand, obviously, um, the properties and why this fabric is so good, but obviously quite difficult to get hold of. Um, so yeah, any questions, just drop us a message and we'll, we'll try and answer them. Thank you. <laughs>